Growing up in, in the Niger Delta, there were lots of oil refineries. These oil refineries, they had very complicated plants, but a few operators were able to sit in a control room and could control everything that was happening in that plant on the other side. This got me interested in the whole subject of control systems. So I made up my mind to go off to college and study anything that had to do with control systems. My early exposure to flight were twofold. One was the paper airplane. The other was looking at hummingbirds. My paper aircraft needed to be folded nicely in place to fly. The hummingbird was the exact opposite. Their flight pattern was really elegant. They had these nice wings that they beat back and forth. I, I thought this was fascinating. At which point I began to understand that control systems are bounded in nature. And a particular example, which is what I'm working on right now, is how nature very precisely controls the inertia on a maple seed between the long axis of the wing and the perpendicular axis to that, which is where the seed is. It's not just studying one thing, it's tying everything together. My training is an electrical engineer specializing in control systems. I've had to understand materials. I've had to understand nanotechnologies. I've had to understand aerodynamics. This passion to understand nature, I share very much with my family. I'd pick up maple seeds and explain to my son what's happening and the kind of aircrafts we are building. I'm seeing in him, he's getting really fascinated by, by all of these and actually developing a great deal of interest in flying objects. So it's a fertile area of study. There's a great future for anyone who wants to really understand how to build aircrafts that fly in the way we see many flying objects that nature provides.